Yo, what is up? I love you. Right now, I'm wearing gloves and a toque and a bunch of layers because it is freezing cold out. It's a nice view though. So in this video, I'm going to talk about why fluency is the absolute worst, worst goal. This is something I tell all my clients is that your goal cannot be fluency. I will, on the consultation calls, I have rejected people be, be before because their only goal was fluency. I only want to be fluent. I'm like, bro, I guarantee you with that mindset, you will never achieve it. And I'll tell you why in this video. Before we get going, my name is Chase Gillis. I help people overcome stuttering the authentic way with without speech techniques, but by seeing where is the actual pain. Where is the repression? Where is the hiding of your true personality? Where can we expose that? And where can we make you into the expressive version of yourself? Overcoming stuttering as a byproduct of that. All right. So if you're interested in that, look at the first link down below. You can book a free consultation call with me where we'll talk one on one and see if we would be a good fit to work together. Well, let's get right into this video right now. So why fluency is the absolute worst goal that you can have who you are right now you are not all right so there's two things to this you already are fluent you already are when you're by yourself you're 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 fluent and that's why there's so much frustration with the stutter right because you know you can speak fine but in some situations in social groups at work at school meeting new people saying your name you stutter and right now that's who you are if your goal is fluency and you're saying everything else is shit if i speak in a, in, in a situation and i stutter that's a fail because i was not fluent i did not reach my goal or i did not get closer to my goal that is that is saying to yourself that who you are right now is not good enough. That's saying to yourself there, that would bring shame. Every time you would stutter, there would be sh bring shame to yourself because you are not good enough. You, you should have been fluent. In order to feel good, you would have to be fluent. And if the goal is fluency in those situations, then of course you're gonna feel like shit when you stutter. And what happens when you feel like shit when you stutter, you go down the negative fucking loop where your stutter feeds off more negative emotions, you stutter more, and it continues and continues and continues on this fucking loop. Negative emotions and stuttering, negative emotions and, st st and stuttering. So that's the first reason why, is because in some situations, you cannot be fluent right now. The person you are right now you cannot be fluent so why would that be a goal that's like saying i i want one million dollars in my bank account right now and i check my bank account and it's not at a million dollars and i get fucking mad and i get shameful oh my god i'm not a millionaire like it's out of your control right now it doesn't make any sense and to keep keep the analogy going with the million dollars that uh, like being a millionaire is the same like the goal of having one million dollars is kind of like the same goal of being fluent it's just the end result of taking actions that's it it's just an outcome the fluency is just an outcome of self-development of upgrading your authentic self upgrading your authenticity seeing situations or normally you'd want to hide and repress in emotionally, but starting to express and feeling safe in your authentic core to fully express whatever you want to say, express whoever you are and feeling safe and feeling like you belong there. And when you do that, fluency comes as a byproduct. If you look at the last sitch, the last sitch, the last situation, you did not feel like you belonged, right? Think, think about it. Think about it, how off you felt, how repressed, how, how excluded you felt. How was your speech then? It was shit because your authentic self did not feel safe. 
you did not feel safe ex expressing who you truly were and are. But once you feel safe, think about now a, situ a situation where you truly do feel safe to express your true self, your true self, not a fake version of yourself, but your true self. How's your speech then? It's good because it's just an outcome. Fluency is just an outcome. And if your goal is just fluency, then the whole process will get fucked up. If your goal is fluency, 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 then you will not be willing to do and take the actions needed to be this authentic version of yourself. Because in order to gain more fluency is you have to stutter more. That's just the crux of it. If you're unwilling to stutter, if you're unwilling to have this discomfort and tension of the stutter, then you are never going to overcome your stutter. That's how it works. And if your goal is fluency, then you'll never be able to hit those moments and push yourself in ways, push your comfort zone, where you go into interactions and you speak and you stutter. You will never have the, the guts to do that. You will never have the ability to do that because you'll be so afraid to stutter. But once, this is massive here, once you start to be able to go into interactions with the mindset of I'm just going to speak my authentic truth. I don't care if I stutter. I don't care if I look weird. I don't care if they judge me. In one, one part of your brain, you might care, but you're going to say, I'm going to override that and do it anyway. That is when you start to develop the ability to find safety in authenticity. Without doing that, you would say, for, for example, let's say you're in a group of five people. They're all talking fast, right? And you get panicked because everyone's talking fast and you just feel like you're going to stutter. You have something to say, but you hold it back. In, in that time where you hold it back, you now signal to your brain that you cannot be authentic. You cannot speak your truth. And that will also signal to your brain that your stutter is in control of you. And that will also signal to, you, to your brain that being authentically you is not safe. There's danger out there. But say you do speak up and say you do stutter and say you do feel anxiety and say you do feel embarrassment and say you, you say you do feel shame and say you do feel inferiority. Now, with the right mindsets, you are now able to feel these emotions, not judge them as, as good or bad as taught in the one on one coaching, but truly truly see them as they are just energy inside of you and you take it as a win you take it as a win because you spoke your authentic truth and you do that again and you do it again and you do it again and lo and behold you start to gain a more comfortability with being your authentic self even in situations that are uncomfortable and then you will have experiences where, where you will see that being authentic, being the true you, always leads to the best outcome. That's not just some fluff, feel-good shit. It always leads to the best outcome that is most aligned with you. And then, and only then, through taking action and through having these experiences, you develop this safety in being authentic. And you start to see other people's judgments, other people's perceptions as they truly are a reflection of what they're feeling inside. You don't take it on and you start to develop this new way of being, this authentic way of being that is true fucking you. And only then can you start to have more fluency because you feel safer with your authenticness. You don't feel the, the judgment coming in from everyone. So your brain is not constantly thinking about one, what they're thinking of me, one, what she's thinking of me. And you're not constantly trying to find words to stutter on or not to stutter on or to avoid to switch. You're not in your head, you're in your body because what is there to fear? Your only goal is to be authentic and you're doing it. But having this mindset and having this way of being is not a flick of the switch.
it's a process because like I said at the beginning, you've been upholding this stutter with certain habits, with certain ideas, with certain mindsets for years now, dec- most likely decades. And to unwind this, it's not about becoming someone new. It's about unlearning all the bullshit that's in your brain. All the bullshit that you've been telling yourself that it's not safe to do this. And in order to truly do this, in order to truly unlearn it, you you can't fix mental shit with more mental shit. You have to, What I think it was Einstein that says, you can't solve a problem in the same consciousness it was created or something like that. You have to actually go out and take action. You have to take specific actions that unwind the certain bullshit lies that you have in your brain. And then that is when you start to really, really realize it. Not just understand it. Like, yeah, that makes sense why it's like this. But really embody the truth of your authenticity. I know that sounds kind of weird, but it's true. And if this resonates at all with you, at all, and you have a stutter and you are fucking sick of hiding, you're sick of diluting your personality, you're sick of feeling this brain fog and this constant tension in your brain every time you want to talk because you just want to fucking express yourself, then what I can offer you is a call one-on-one. You can talk to me, tell me about your situation and see if you would be a good fit, see if I would be a good fit for you and see if your goals that you have for yourself are aligned with something that we can actually work on to start to unravel this bullshit so you can be your free expressive authentic self at all motherfucking times all right i love you so much i'll talk to you soon and uh fluency is never is never the goal should never be the goal you and your true self should be the goal i love you